Hey all my crafty friends, Amber here. I am a close to my heart maker and I wanted to come to you guys and kind of give you a little rundown of Close to My Heart's album retreats. I recently did their May album retreat and I do mine a little bit differently and I'm going to show you how I take the album retreat and turn it into something a little different. Um, if you have been on the fence about doing an album retreat, maybe this will push you or sway you one way or the other um, on signing up for the next one. Now, you can shop with me at scrapwithamber.closetomyheart.com and it, when we have an announcement of the next album retreat, I'll make sure to do a video to let you guys know. Now, I want to show you kind of how they come to you. So you get a box with um, a bunch of bags like this. You can go then, um, once you've joined the Facebook group, print off the instructions like I have here. There are written instructions as well, but I just have the photos with this page in particular for right now. So you'll get a bag of bags like this, and it says the name of the page that you will create. It has all your pieces cut for you. Now I am going to put a disclaimer that when you do the album retreat, if there are any um, thin cut cuts that you have to do. Those are things that you'll have to do yourself. We do our stamping ourselves, and we assemble our pages ourselves. Now each page there is a new technique that they try to teach us which is fantastic. Um, the reason this page is not done is because I didn't have photos for it and so I haven't done it yet but I will go back through and watch the video and create this page. This page is really cool. This is a spinning feature and so you have multiple photos and then you can spin it right here. So that's the technique that they did teach on this page. I have not yet watched that video, but I am looking forward to learning how to do that. So I did want to show you guys how those come um, and what that looks like. Now with Album Retreat, I do it a little bit different. So I never create it as an album. You most certainly can. It's an awesome thing to do. Now this one was all about your senses so smell touch hearing um seeing all of those things and it all goes in an album together and it's supposed to create a beautiful album now i am not a fan of creating albums like that i am into scrapbooking and scrapbooking chronologically and so i take the pages and i grab pictures i think that will look good on them and i change them just ever so slightly when doing them. So I'm going to go through each of the pages I did create and show you what the page example is that they did and then show you what I did to change it. Now this first one I'm going to show you, the title of this one is Smells Like Home. You can see they have a photo here, 4 by 6 and then two 4 by 4s right there. Now let me show you what I did with this. So I took and I changed the title. My title is Reverse Parade. And I do have the same size photos on this one. This was the end of the school year last year in 2020. Um, they did a reverse parade where all the students came by in cars and the teachers stood out and um, waved to the kids and we had a reverse parade to end the school year. And so this is going to my daughter's album. And now this is scrapbooked and it's cute. There's stamping, there's mixed media on here and um, it's another page to go in the album. Okay, so the next one is my favorite scent. Again, here is that page that they created. Our technique was learning how to do these lines on this blue paper here, the grid, which was a fun technique to learn. And again, I use the same kind of photos. This time it's going in my son's book. And so again, reverse parade, I changed the title, but the base of the page is pretty much the same. I just changed it to work with a photos I needed to scrapbook to get into my son's album. So works out really well. And I've done this with like every album retreat that I've been to. I change it like this. 
So this is the next one. This page is really beautiful. A hug makes everything better. And it's really pretty colors, but I knew I wanted to scrapbook photos of our family photos from 2020. And so I needed to change just a few things, including my background paper, so I did. Um, I always make sure I have extra cardstock on hand just so I can change things like that to go with my photos better. Uh, let me show you what mine looks like. So again, I did not use that title that they had, A Hug Makes Everything Better. Instead, I added another photo and then I added this We Are Family, which was left over on the sticker sheet that they gave us. And I think that the blue on here just looks so much better. But look how cool and good this goes with my photos. So again, changing it so that it works for my albums. Okay, here is our next one. This one is titled Around the Table. You have on the menu, Good Eats, the little shaker here. Now here's what I did. I did pictures from my very first convention at Close to My Heart, which was here in Salt Lake City. Um, my first convention is my title. I have a photo here, I have the same photos. I did the shaker like they did. I did the watercolor technique. So all of those fun things are still incorporated into my page. I simply changed the title and a little bit of the stamping. Okay, so our next page here is a world of color. This one is so pretty. I love how simple it is, which is some torn pieces of paper and it's flipped on both sides. It is great. So here is what I did. I did pictures from my 13 year anniversary with my husband and our trip up to Strawberry to go for a ride on the side by side. So really these pages are very versatile. You can simply turn them into other things. They do not have to necessarily be with the title and the theme that are on the page. Okay. I was really excited to see that we had some music theme pages coming with this album retreat because I do work at a radio station. I have tons of photos with country artists, um, concerts and things like that. So I was able to get a few um, of those done and you'll see here shortly. So here is this one. I love the swooshing of the watercolor that we did. And this just turned into a really fun um, page. Here is what I did with this. Um, I changed my title. So their title was The Sweetest Sound, and I changed mine to Love His Sound. This is Dylan Carmichael, my favorite artist right now. He reminds me a lot of like Travis Tritt and just that old country vibe, you know, 90s, 80s. And that's the kind of country I love. I am very much more in love with older country as opposed to now day country. So he is awesome because of that. So this page turned out really well for these photos for work. Okay, another music theme one. I was super excited. This is music to my ears playlist. Super cute. One of the techniques is this spins. Mine doesn't, um, but that was something they did teach us. So again, these are from work. We had a girls night out um, promotion and we had Claire Dunn come and sing. And so these are just photos from that night and it was super fun. So it turned out really well to um, have these music photos. I have lots of photos that have to do with music. Okay, so here is a really good example of me changing a page a little bit more. So what they have is foodie. So all these food things, says little chef hats, says delicious, the fork and knife, tasty, 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 yummy, yummy, yummy on the menu. Now I changed this to music, you guys, because there was stamps that were music related. So it was really easy. So I did Z Jam because that's what we call our little concerts. And then I did music, music, music. I used the music notes, listening, good vibes, fun time, sound, sound, sound. 
So it was really awesome to be able to turn this page into a music page. Okay, so here is my next page. This was their first page. It says my five senses. These little things flap open. It was really cool. Another flap up right here. But again, I didn't do my album as my five senses and so I totally changed this up. This page for me is going to be photos from when Clint Black came into concert. Into? Came to concert? Yeah. Um, so I did change mine and yeah, it works out great. So changed my title to be a big title here where they had all their little flippy flap things and was able to put my backstage pass in, my tickets, um, a few pictures from the concert. And then of course me meeting the man himself, Clint Black. Um, so it's very, very easy to change these pages into things that are going to work for your photos as I did. Now, this is the last one I'm going to show you guys. Here is their page. This one is titled Love at First Sight. And what I did with this one actually is I separate it and I turn it into two one-page layouts. So let's look at the first page. So here's my page. Let's see if I can do this. Here is my page. Here is what they did. So they had three photos. I have two photos. Um, they have a title up here and down here. I changed mine to just right here. Awesome. Cousin fun with grandma with the chickens. That's what the kids call this grandma because she has chickens. Um, they're just playing on her golf cart. And of course my son being the super nice cousin that he is taking his baby cousin for a ride on the little four wheeler. So this one will go in my son's album. And then I simply took the other side with another photo of my daughter in it for the same event. Um, and this one will go on her album. So I was able to take this two page layout, separate it, and now I have a layout to go on both my kids' albums. So there is my album retreat um, review, if you will, and what I did with my pages. Hopefully you guys um, will be able to join Close to My Heart with one of their album retreats. They're super fun. They give away fun prizes. You always learn something new and have a really great time. The ladies are awesome that put it together and do the videos for us. And it's fun to chat with them. So, yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.